Wake all to arms, wake all to arms. Please smile as we say goodbye to the song. We must go. Please say a happy cheerio. We'll think of old mighty Father Thames, so mighty. The white cliffs of Dover till this war is over. Welcome to our trench and dugout, somewhere on the Western Front. It is early December 1917 and our Sergeant Major has informed us that we will not be given leave to return home to Old Blighty this Christmas in a few weeks time. So my pals and my new friends who are strangers only a few days ago hope you like our Christmas decorations we have just laid out. The helmet is a gift from one of the Kaiser's troops in exchange for the whiskey and cigars we shared four years ago during the Christmas truce. We do not know if we will hear Silent Night sung in German floating across no man's land as it did that Christmas Eve 1914. As we now look into this dugout 100 years later we see four poppies representing the 1914 truce. Let's never forget this most remarkable event. As the Western Front trenches stretched over 300 miles across Europe, a rather unique society may have been created. Tommies would have met many strangers who became allies as they travelled through the vast and complicated systems of trenches and dugouts as they carried out their duties 100 years ago. For many decades it has been our traditions to unite with family at home for the special Christmas lunch and a happy family day. This occurs in the context of a normal peaceful society. Now let's consider Luke 14 verse 12 to 14. If we are not able to be with family for whatever reason this verse suggests we spend the day with the stranger, the blind and the disabled. We may follow the example of the Tommy in a World War I trench and dugout society. We will have more comfortable surroundings than the dugout. But may we ask management of a charity or place of care on Christmas Day to share the special meal with them and with people who cannot pay us back. This year our son F.S. Fred celebrated his coming of age 21st birthday. As we could not invite our family due to distance we did organise a party at the local community club. We did invite all the locals to the pizza meal. My wife gave a dinner to the disabled doorman. The notice board outside as seen here. Fred Stevenson's 21st. All welcome. Everyone expressed their appreciation for a super night. So we took Luke 14 literally. By doing this Jesus Christ joined our party in spirit. We had the company of the creator of the whole universe and cosmos. 
Jesus states that the reward for this sharing will come at the resurrection, at his return and second coming. Revelation 20. This event is called the resurrection of the just. As we approach Christmas 2017, let's hope our individual arrangements for this festival offer cheer to all we meet, both friends, family and indeed strangers. Using Rev Bennett's cheery words, Good people, good people, I implore you, you know in your hearts that to entertain a person at any time of the year who cannot pay us back may be a rare and unusual activity. But Jesus Christ is at our side as we move in faith. Please contact Rev Bennett using the email in the credits. Until next time, have a rewarding Christmas.